All right, so we're gonna actually go over. Let me see if I can make this into like a, like a guide here. We're gonna we're gonna tag a class. So, for those of you who don't know what tagging is, uh, basically what it lets you do is you are able to kind of like marry two, two characters together. So they'll always be in the same location. You can switch between a character at any time with this button up here, right? Um, they will not share weight and inventory, but they will share gear okay so basically when i switch to whoever i tag they will have copies of the gear that is here on my main you could also do emergency tagging which shares cooldowns with your v which is the emergency escape so like if in like a certain situation you're like oh man this guy's gonna attack me i'm gonna switch to my pvp character you can swap right over like that if you want to um you also can't trade goods with your tagged character um you also have to have a separate mount with its own inventory it will not be tagged along with your character so you do need a second mount which i thankfully do have um you can also not tag characters during rbf arena varsha ba and savage rift but like if you know you're in the middle of a node where like i'm gonna actively tag my character then you should be you should be, you should be doing something else uh, <laughs> but so right now you are the um, you need a resource that is called Marnie's fuel in order to actually do the tag, which I actually have a bunch of here, which you can buy from any old moon manager. So an example would be Stee in High Dell, who is right near the um, training dummies. So he is right here, Stee. So any old moon manager you can buy the Marnie's fuel from them. Um, I need to just actually find mine in the bank here we go so i'll just withdraw like i don't know how much i need so i'll withdraw 25 and the amount of marnie's fuel that you need is going to be based off of the cost of your weapons so the better your weapons are the more fuel you're gonna have to use the worse your weapons are the less fuel you're gonna have to use um so i am going to choose the zerker we are going to click tag i am gonna do item copy to use marnie's suspicious device complete the spirit successor quest marnie's suspicious device recurring quest with a level 56 or higher character so i guess there's a quest that you actually have to do here we go marnie's suspicious device <laughs> a splendid deal under suggested to pick off from what i was saying so that quest that was in my quest log which was the marnie's suspicious device quest a splendid deal you do need to go do that and complete the quest chain which will then allow you to actually tag the items and i'll just showcase myself going through some of the quests here Is that it? Am I done? You just have to talk to this guy? Oh, here. Great adventure. Okay. Combine Schur's Clue times nine in your inventory. So it's Schur's Clue's houseboat on the top left, pirate in the middle, splash splash. You got Sula Sula, Queek Queek, War, Rock, Dusty Wind, and Big Castle. You place them in this, then you press the LMB and it combines them and you get the Great Otter Portrait. I'm guessing it's called Splashing Point, being that it's otters. Hand over the Great Otter Portrait to Otter... Or to Bavio. Young Bavio. Let's go hit him up. Hear about the treasure from Bravio. So we just spam R at Young Bravio. Talk to Mowgli. You're a splashy boy, brother. Marnie's cup. Uh, drink Marnie's grog from Mowgli in my inventory. Get fucking grogged. All right. It was amazing. Let me use my fuel. <laughs> Here we go. Old the manager sell Marnie's unstable fuel. Old the manager. Shall we check out what kind of folk that they are? All right. So this is going to be meet with Jack, the old new manager of Altanova. All right, so now we talk to Jack. We'll brought you to the Old Moon Guild. I think that's it. So it drops you off at the Old Moon Shop. So you could buy the fuel if you want to. I have it myself. So I should be able to just click the tag thing. Item copy. And then it is need Marty's unstable fuel times 20. You have 25. Item copy. Gear equipped by Dots will be copied to the inventory of Dots XB. All copied gear can be checked at the inventory of the designated character. Untagging the character will delete all copied gear set by their designated character. Copied gear may not be moved outside the character's inventory. I have to repair first. 
Tag, item copy. Boom. Copy the following gear, dots XP. So now if I go over to him, it should be in his inventory. Picking up where we left off. So now you can see the tagged gear is all in my inventory, and you can tell it's tagged by the blue icon in the top left. And I can equip all this. Oh my god, my guy's gonna look freaking awesome. Look at that. Look at that helmet. Look at that drip. Yes. Look at the drip. Oh, my God. My dude's dripping. And so, just like that, your gear has been tagged. And you're good to go. So, hopefully, you guys found this, uh, found this helpful. And I'm going to separately post-stream... Add an outro. So there we go. Hey guys, I hope you all found that quick beginner guide on how to tag your character in Black Desert very helpful. I was doing it on my stream and I figured I would just kind of narrate as I was going through it since it was the first time I was ever doing it myself so that those of you who are new to BDO or returning and have never tagged a character before could see the process of doing it and going through it so that you knew exactly what to do yourself. It's a really beneficial thing to have a second character to be able to play. It just kind of helps you kind of, you know, change up your character maybe to play someone a little bit different one pvp character one pve character maybe you just want to mix it up and play different things and it's cool to be able to essentially just kind of have a second character too for the price of one in terms of your gear and not needing a whole separate set of gear to be able to play a second character but i hope you guys enjoyed the guide and found it helpful if you did i'd really appreciate it if you left a like and a comment on it. it really helps me in the youtube algorithm a lot and for more bdo beginner guys please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep the notifications on so i appreciate you stopping by this video today Thank you very much. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.